Pityriasis rosea, Wikipedia audio. Pityriasis rosea is a type of skin rash. Classically, it begins with a single red and slightly scaly area known as a herald patch. This is then followed, days to weeks later, by a pink whole body rash. It typically lasts less than three months and goes away without treatment. Sometime a fever may occur before the start of the rash or itchiness may be present, but often there are few other symptoms. While the cause is not entirely clear, it is believed to be related to human herpes virus 6 or human herpes virus 7. It does not appear to be contagious. Certain medications may result in a similar rash. Diagnosis is based on the symptoms. Evidence for specific treatment is limited. About 1.3% of people are affected at some point in time. It most often occurs in those between the ages of 10 and 35. The condition was described at least as early as 1798. Signs and Symptoms The symptoms of this condition include the cause of pityriasis rosea is not certain, but its clinical presentation and immunologic reactions suggest a viral infection as a cause. Some believe it to be a reactivation of herpes viruses 6 and 7, which cause rosella in infants. An upper respiratory tract infection may precede all other symptoms in as many as 69% of patients, a single, 2 to 10 cm oval red herald patch appears, classically on the abdomen. Occasionally, the herald patch may occur in a hidden position and not be noticed immediately. The herald patch may also appear as a cluster of smaller oval spots, and be mistaken for acne. Rarely, it does not become present at all, 7-14 days after the herald patch. Many small patches of pink or red, flaky, oval-shaped rash appear on the torso. The more numerous oval patches generally spread widely across the chest first, following the rib line in a characteristic Christmas tree distribution. Small, circular patches may appear on the back and neck several days later, in 6% of cases an inverse distribution may occur with rash mostly on the extremities. In children, presentation can be atypical or inverse, and the course is typically milder, about 1 in 4 people with PR have mild to severe symptomatic itching. The itching is often nonspecific, and worsens if scratched. This tends to fade as the rash develops and does not usually last through the entire course of the disease. The rash may be accompanied by low-grade fever, headache, nausea, and fatigue. Experienced practitioners may make the diagnosis clinically. If the diagnosis is in doubt, tests may be performed to rule out similar conditions such as Lyme disease, ringworm, guttate psoriasis, numular or discoid eczema, drug eruptions, other viral exanthems. The clinical appearance of pityriasis rosea is similar to that of secondary syphilis, and rapid plasma reagent testing should be performed if there is any clinical concern for syphilis. A biopsy of the lesions will show extravasated erythrocytes within dermal papillae and dyskeratotic cells within the dermis. A set of validated diagnostic criteria for pityriasis rosea is as follows. A patient is diagnosed as having pityriasis rosea if The essential clinical features are the following. The optional clinical features are the following. Dermnet viral slash pityriasis rosea. The exclusional clinical features are the following. The condition usually resolves on its own, and treatment is not required. Oral antihistamines or topical steroids may be used to decrease itching. 
steroids do provide relief from itching, and improve the appearance of the rash, but they also cause the new skin that forms to take longer to match the surrounding skin color. While no scarring has been found to be associated with the rash, scratching should be avoided. It's possible that scratching can make itching worse and an itch scratch cycle may develop with regular scratching. Irritants such as soaps with fragrances, hot water, wool, and synthetic fabrics should be avoided. Lotions that help stop or prevent itching may also be helpful. Causes Direct sunlight makes the lesions resolve more quickly. According to this principle, medical treatment with ultraviolet light has been used to hasten resolution, though studies disagree whether it decreases itching or not. UV therapy is most beneficial in the first week of the eruption. Oral erythromycin was effective in treating patients in one early trial, but a later study could not confirm these results. In most patients, the condition lasts only a matter of weeks, in some cases it can last longer. The disease resolves completely without long-term effects. 2% of patients have recurrence. The overall prevalence of PR in the United States has been estimated to be 0.13% in men and 0.14% in women. It most commonly occurs between the ages of 10 and 35. It is more common in spring. PR is not viewed as contagious, though there have been reports of small epidemics in fraternity houses and military bases, schools, and gyms. Diagnosis Treatment Prognosis Epidemiology